Stock Motors were actually founded on a race track. We started racing electric motorcycles way back in 2009. We are the only ones in India who have won the Isle of Man, build motorcycles, can, uh, electric motorcycles that can do about 240 km per hour. Uh, when I came back to India, let's say in 2016, I saw everybody building a scooter. Uh, so we wanted to, I am a motorcycle fanatic, so I wanted to build a motorcycle for ourselves and people like me. So we started the company uh, way back in 2016. The biggest challenge that we faced was uh, we wanted to build everything grounds up in India. This is way beyond Fame 2, before Fame 2. So we wanted to build our own motor battery pack because the IP has to be built in India. The cost of import is much higher, so why not build everything in India? to a price point that Indian people would like. The price point is, let's say, 1.5 lakh rupees electric motorcycle in India that can do about 180 kilometers range, 100 kilometers speed, and uh, actually looks uh, sexy. Uh, for that, we actually build our own motors, we build our own batteries, uh, we build our own ECUs, electronics, all that you see is designed grounds up. Started from a sketch, you can see the product. Yes, I think last year we launched our Kratos R. This year we're launching the Kratos are refreshed and we are also unveiling a new product called the Kratos X. For a brand like us, I think uh, two products and completely made in India is like a dream come true. Uh, being at the Auto Expo is, is a great fun for, for us. We also happen to be in four cities right now, Pune, Surat, Hyderabad and Patna. We will come actually add more cities by March. Our plan is to be in let's say 72 cities by March 2024. Uh, we have a factory in Pune, which can do over 60,000 motorcycles. So, I think uh, we have a large team. We have about 150 people plus people in R&D. And they build these great products in India. So, for I think uh, for the Kratos R refreshed, we had to see how can we charge a little faster, make the port universal, make it a little, little more appealing. So, we made the battery pack uh, a darker grade. So, it looks a little sharper. And it was always, already doing great in terms of design. So we also kept our old designs and uh, blacked out the battery packs. So there are a couple of components that we've added in terms of plastic, small, small things that the customers might notice when they buy the product. For the, I think the X, we had to rethink ourselves in our head. So we could use the Kratos, our platform, but we had to rethink the powertrain and the swing arm and the display and how does the motorcycle interact with the user. So I think this is like a, it's like a product that you can benchmark and say uh, across the world and say at this price point. So we will not announce the price point, but it's going to be very close to what the Kratos uh, art is going to be. And I think this is bringing great product and people will love it. So I think a lot comes from the fact that you have to know the product is to be tested in India or driven in India. So we, I think, come from India, we've seen our range and Marks and Mumbai range and Chennai range. So we had designed the battery pack. So there's a lot that went into design. So from 2016 onwards, we built our complete powertrain. So we said we built our, we built our motors, Axel Fox motors for both the motorcycles. Uh, the challenge is to scale this up to, uh, to actually build something in India, but actually scale it up to, let's say, produce 60,000 units. And that's a big challenge. First is tech. First is actually understanding the market. Second is actually engineering for the market that you're designing and then actually building that product and actually manufacturing it. So there are challenges along the way. I think uh, currently the challenge is to scale this up to 72 cities that we want to into. And from an engineering standpoint again, I think uh, it's not an easy task to build a product for India and the price point that you want. So it's both. You want to build the great, greatest quality. You want the best quality, best reliability, best warranty and all that. Plus, you want the best price. So, India is, I think, uh, Indian customers are very smart. And you have to be smarter than them. So, we are available in four cities. We started from Pune. We are, our base is Pune. So, we have about two experienced stores. That will, one is already live. We have one more coming up. Uh, we have one in Hyderabad that will be live soon. We have uh, Patna and, and Surat that are, we are already selling. So we are selling without the dealerships now. So for example, dealers take the motorcycles. It's almost like a D2C brand. People actually pre-book the product and get the product delivered at the doorsteps. All these cities will have stores. And there are more cities coming in. Let's say Hyderabad, uh, no, Chennai, Bangalore, Ahmedabad, Delhi. These are the few stores that you will see, cities that we will actually enter. By 2024, let's say national is, I'm in seven cities, I, could, I, I call myself national. Uh, 
uh, but I think I, I won't stop at that. Uh, there are numerous people across various cities aspirational enough to buy a Kratos R. We are also looking at tier 2. I think tier 2, I think uh, India is not just in cities. So there is one India that we talk about. I think we have to build a product for Bharat. So it's always was built like a platform. The Kratos or the, let's say we started with uh, our motorcycle platforms. So you can actually, we built two motorcycles on the uh, three actually now. So we're adding the X also to the platform. Uh, we can move, I think we should be able to do another two, three. But let's see, I think the market demand or our timeline is more important.